Welcome back to part four of the SketchUp stage design series. Today I'm going to show you how to make an animated walkthrough of a stage. So I have a simple stage pulled up here. It's got a couple required positions, but it's also got some options. And we're going to uh, add some scenes and turn them into a, uh, an animated walkthrough. First thing you want to do is go to View Animation and Settings. These numbers seems to work out or seem to work out pretty well for me. A two and a half second scene transition. You want to make sure that the transitions are enabled, otherwise it'll get, probably get confusing. And a scene delay of one second seems to work pretty well as well. You don't want these to be too long because it'll make the video really long, take up a lot of space, and it'll be boring. But you also don't want to make them too short, or else it'll uh, you won't be able to see everything in the, each scene. Uh, it, it won't have enough of a delay for you to take in all the information before it moves on. You can play around with these, but these are the settings that I use. All right, next thing, you want to pull up the default tray. It may already show up here on the right. If it doesn't, uh, you need to go to Window, Default Tray, and this will say Show Tray here. It's got a lot of other information here. I disable everything except the scenes because I don't use any of it and it just gets in my way. So make sure the scenes is highlighted or selected there and click Show Tray and it should show up on the right. And you'll see where it says Default Tray and Scenes on the right. So the first thing you want to do is get a good overview of the stage. It helps if you can see all of the uh, the targets, all of the angles, but I've got some hidden targets here and here, so these just aren't going to show up unless I go way over the top, and then all the other information is kind of skewed, and it's, it doesn't show the stage very well. So those will show up in the walkthrough. It doesn't have to be perfect. So try and zoom in, show everything that I can. You want to make sure everything is actually in the window here. See this target just went away, so I got to zoom out a little bit. And we'll just go with that right there. So I've got the uh, the shortcut key for add a scene as the letter Z, the Z key on the toolbar. If you uh, if you go to view animation. You can also just click Add Scene here, and if there is a, a shortcut key set, it'll show it right here. So mine is a Z, so I'm just going to push the Z key anytime I want to add a scene. And if you want to add that shortcut, go back and watch my first video, but you go to Windows Preferences and add the shortcut that way. So I'm going to use this as my basic overview scene to start with. So I'm going to hit Z. And this scene was added right here. So after I've got scene one as an overview, I'm also going to add another scene of the exact same thing. I did not move anything. I didn't shift, didn't rotate. I want it to be exactly the same. What this is going to do is going to create a longer delay on this particular scene here so everybody can see it uh, and, and take in more information since there's typically more information in the overview than there is in the individual scenes. All right, after, uh, after we got the basic overview scene, I like to show the start position. So we're gonna zoom in on the start position here. It's gonna be toes on marks or you know whatever, feet touching X's. I like to have a target, at least one target visible when I do that. All right, so Z to add this scene. And then I like to just go around, start from one direction, and, and work through the stage as much as possible. More complicated stages are going to be more of a pain, but it's just you try and show every every necessary view at least. Um, you know, I've got some hidden targets here, so we're going to be sure to show those. So we're going to start, say, the shooter decides to start going left to right. So we're going to start here, hit Z to add this scene going to zoom in show this other view over here Z to add a scene then I'm gonna swing around because there's a popper here that you can take Z to add that scene you can shoot this 
uh, Max Trap and Popper here. But you also have to come to this corner here to shoot this target. That's the only place it's available. So Z to create a scene there. So then a lot of times I'll zoom in on the activator and show what it is. If it's a popper, you know, I'll show the view and then I'll zoom in on the popper and then go to the moving target. So in this case, I'm going to create a scene that shows the stomp box. And then I'm going to zoom in on the max trap and create a scene that shows it. And I'm going to zoom back out and go to this view, which is the popper through the port. Because that's one of the options. Then I'm going to show the max trap through the port. And then this other target through the port. That's other popper. All right, now moving more to the right. Show this uh, partial here. We've got two open paper over here. And I'm not specifying, but I'm adding a scene every time I stop to, uh, to in each of these views. So you have the max trap and the popper over here, the mini popper. And then the last one, you have to shoot this open target from this corner here. That's the only time it's available. Alright, so that is all of them. You can click on one of these scenes, any of these scenes up here, and it'll take you to that. So that's scene 1, that's scene 10. We're going to go back to scene 1, and I'm going to add another one at the end. So this is scene 18 here. See it? Uh, I guess you can't click and drag, but I'm going to move it down all the way to the end. You can see now it's scene 18 is the end, so it goes back to the start basically. Uh, when you f if you want to see your uh, the preliminary result, uh, you want to start at scene one. Right click on scene one at the top, click play animation, and that should play. Depending on how fast your computer is, it may not be exactly. Uh, the, the right delays, it, it may kind of lag a little bit and not show you exactly what the uh, the finished walkthrough is, but it ought to give you a good idea. Uh, you can see it's going through all the different scenes now. It's a good idea to, to preview it before you actually make the video because it takes a little while to render and you may discover that you missed something or you don't like the, the view that you stopped on. Maybe you accidentally uh, created a scene you didn't mean to, and different things like that. So we'll walk, th or we'll uh, let this play through. So far, everything seems to be pretty good. Showing all the available target presentations, all the positions that you have to be in to shoot different targets and then it goes back to the overall. So I'm going to stop that. Once your all your scenes are in the right order, and if you get something out of order, you can uh, you can click on one of these and then click the up or down to move the scene up or down in place. Once the animation is done, you click file, export, animation and video. And we might maybe want to click on options. Say I want this to be 1080p. You can. Uh, you also want to loop to the starting scene, or at least I do. That's also why I created the scene 18 here. But you can do it here, where it automatically does it. Uh, click OK, save it wherever you'd like, and click export. And it's going to take a little while. You know, depending on how fast your computer is, it could take. Three minutes, it could take half an hour. It's actually not going to take nearly that long, but we're going to cut back here in just a minute once it gets done. So the video is finally finished rendering. It took probably 20 minutes or so, and I've got the file pulled up into uh, just Windows Media Player. So this is what it's going to look like once your 
finished with it. And now it's ready to be put into uh, or uploaded to YouTube, Facebook, wherever you'd like to share it. That's basically it for today. I'm just showing you how to do a, an animated walkthrough. That may be most everything for the SketchUp stage design series. If I come up with anything else, I'll add another video sometime soon. But I've covered all the main points that I wanted to so far. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, anything, leave them in the comments below. Look forward to hearing from you. And stay tuned for new videos coming soon. Thanks.